as a parent, the most important thing, if I can convey anything, is how you have to be your child's advocate. And you cannot expect that the doctors are going to bring up everything to you. Um, you have to just put it out there. And if you have a difficult question, um, basically asking what are the chances for, my, for survival, I mean, you need to know that. And you need, because you need to mentally prepare. And my husband and I were always aware that David could go. And we we were so grateful that the, for the time that we did have with him. And we did have a good year with him. Um, but the fact is, is that doctors don't always, I mean, like even when you go in for surgery, they don't tell you all the complications that can go on. They just tell you the basics and they skirt over it. But you have to, as the parent, ask the tough questions. It's tough because you don't know how you think the doctor is going to yell at you. You think the doctor is going to look at you like, what makes you say that? You don't know how it's going to be perceived. Um, I'm sure there are doctors who, um, oh. There, they, you hear stories. I knew of a family who, a grandfather whose grandson uh, relapsed with leukemia. The child was a year and a half and had relapsed five times. And the, and the man worked for an, a big insurance company. And he had read one of my articles and he, and it turned out his father, who was the grandfather, knew us. And the, the father, the grandfather called me up and he said, I want your opinion on this. He said, my grandson has relapsed five times. He's a year and a half. My son decided that they were wanted to do hospice care and change this over. They, the doctor wanted to do a stem cell transplant. I looked at all the numbers and the numbers did not look good. He didn't have one patient who survived this. The doctor did not tell the father that. Um, and the long-term results of having um, the child be immunosuppressed at 15, 18 months. And the doctor looked at him saying, I will call social services on you. If, wait, if you don't move forward with the transplant? Yes. So then what happened? So the man said, okay, if you're going to call social services on me, because I think we've done all that we can do for my son, then I'm going to notify the insurance company that you are want to do a surgery that hasn't been proven to work. And uh, I have to tell you, I mean, that's an example of where, as a parent, you you made the most difficult decision there is in life. Any parent who takes it to the next step and says, okay, this is where we want to stop treatment, it has to be honored. And it and the healthcare provider needs to know that that parent, those parents have taken a lot of time to think to think about this. It's a really, it's the hardest decision you'll make in your whole life. 